Scott Dunham, uh, owner and principal of uh, SD2 Consulting. So. I'm about a 30 year user for Studio. That's changed a lot, but there's a lot of the fundamental stuff that's still in it as well. But in terms of, of what you see now, it's a totally different product to what it was 30 years ago. Um, biggest difference probably visually is in the interface, what you, what you see, uh, the graphics capability, these types of things. And then there's been a large, large improvement, I suppose, in the immediate functionality. Um, 30 years ago, you got presented with a piece of software that unless you knew how to put things together, it didn't do anything. These days, you can actually run something and do something with it. So uh, that's a fairly dramatic change, I think, over time. I think for new users, it's a lot easier. Yeah, new users, it's, it's, it's something that um, they don't just present a blank face to. They can, they can start seeing how they can do some, some um, meaningful and useful stuff. Whereas 30 years ago, you had no graphics, you had, had nothing, you just had a command line, and people would just go, I don't know what this is. So it required a lot more um, bespoke customization, I suppose. Mm. Look, for, for me, um, Studio is a, a toolkit. So um, generally, the way I use it is, is as, a, as a toolkit. So if there's a particular problem or a particular issue that comes up, but then I will use a feature for, for that, that purpose. And that changes from time to time, changes from, from job to job. Um, there's nothing, I suppose, that stands out as a, a single um, feature that, that would, would deal with that. It's really about the flexibility of having the ability to do lots of different things at the same time. I'm doing a fair bit of work now with, with the guys from CICOR, and uh, probably the, what's helping them the most is getting into the, the uniform conditioning. Um, so rather than using the, the built-in uniform conditioning scripting, then we're basically going back to macro, developing our own processes for, for running that uniform condition to give them that flexibility to do that extra bit more that they need from that research perspective to things. And I suppose as an example of, of um, <coughs> recent things, that, that's one. Uh, so a lot of this, thinking about it more, if I think about one feature in, in Studio that, that is most useful, it's being able to write macros, being able to put things together in whatever form you want. Um, that type of stuff. So. The flexibility, the flexibility and the power. Yeah.